All right, SaaS hackers, welcome to today's uh, today's live. We are going uh, to interview. Uh, we've actually got with us a very special guest. We've actually got uh, founder Anton from API Appy Way uh, with us, and they actually just launched on Product Hunt. Um, Anton, welcome. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for having me. Uh, nice to meet you all. Um, my let, let me introduce myself. My name is Anton Wiberny. I'm from Ukraine, and today. We have launched on Product Hunt with our uh, product. Uh, it is a free integration platform where you can connect different apps between each other without coding. And also it is a B2B SaaS uh, marketplace where you can find um, a perfect solution uh, for your business. And uh, this is uh, our main core feature that we provide a free integration platform and make money with uh, ads on the uh, with, with ads uh, of vendors. And uh, today, I think we will uh, talk about this. Absolutely. And if you're just joining us, guys, um, if if you had missed yesterday's webby, this this is the one that you want to watch. So come on in. Make sure that you join us. And yeah, let's discuss this. So Anton, I got to tell you, I have never had so many people say. Aaron, no way. What's the catch? Why is it free? Why it's not free? When, when's the upsell? So is this really free, right? All day long, everybody had such amazing, awesome questions. And that's one reason, obviously, why, why I love this community. But I think that um, I would really like to, from your own words, kind of explain what it is that you're actually the, the business goal and why it's actually, I mean, it's free. It's 100% free. There's no upsells coming. There's no um, buy laters. Um, there's no, I mean, it's nothing like that. I mean, you signed up, it's in, it's for the end user to use 100% free. Am I, am I right in that and wrong in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. Let, uh, let, let's, let me tell you a story. How, how you, how we, uh, think that we will, uh, create this kind of product. Uh, the, my main business, uh, it is, uh, it was, a. Uh, Active campaign reseller. Active campaign it is a marketing automation solution, a CRM system, email marketing uh, solution. And three, uh, maybe maybe four, maybe four years ago, uh, we start do this. And uh, I use Active Campaign. I like this tool, and uh, I want to create my own uh, business in the IT market. And uh, the reseller program uh, it was um, the most uh, easiest way to do this. And after that, uh, when we launched, uh, I have uh, some couple of customers. Uh, I try to explain how to use marketing automation solution to these customers and make some consult. And these uh, customers uh, all time ask me about, uh, about integrations. Uh, they want to connect active campaign with other solutions. Uh, and uh, for, to, to resolve this problem, we mm -hmm. used Zapier. Zapier, it's our competitor. It's an integration platform where you can connect also these uh, apps, but you have to pay a money for this. And um, it was some uh, moment when, um, when people start to pay uh, money for connections. Uh, it, it was the similar money uh, that they pay for email marketing solution and the, uh, and uh, the CRM system. For example, uh, you can pay uh, uh, 50 bucks for email marketing solution, 50 bucks for CRM, and you can pay uh, 50 or 60 bucks for uh, connections. And uh, firstly, um, uh, it's it look like, okay, 50 bucks, it's okay. But uh, when you see this uh, and you ask a question to yourself, why I have to pay for connection uh, of these vendors, uh, uh, I think the vendors have to uh, to pay this uh, for, for these integrations, uh, and uh, we face this problem uh, and understand that uh, that it can be a problem, and um, also um, we can we we couldn't cover all uh, connections with Zephyr because we we, uh, we was on the Ukrainian and Russian market, and uh, there are. Uh, a lot of uh, another uh, software solutions uh, that are really popular in Russian, mm -hmm. uh, and they don't uh, have uh, integration with Zapier. And we face this problem. And uh, to one, um, one, we make an offer to our um, one customer and say, okay, we can create the uh, connection with Amu CRM and with Active Campaign, and how much you want to pay for this. And he he said uh, a price, and and, and we start. 
and we start create our own Russian zenith, for example. And but um, maybe for one year we quickly understood that this market is so close, and we uh, we we educated and. Uh, uh, start to want uh, to play a big game, for example, in a big ocean, in a big uh, uh, English-speaking ocean. And uh, we start to think how we can compete with Zephyr because the strategy uh, when we uh, want to 10 bucks per month and Zephyr want to 20 bucks per month. Uh, it starts adding enough. up. I mean, it starts adding up as far as the bill. You don't start thinking about it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we've been thinking about this and uh, I start uh, thinking how we can uh, make a, 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 another big offer for our customers and how we can be free. Uh, and because uh, if it will be a free solution, it will be a viral and um, it will be cool for end users. But uh, we have another question, how we can earn money, uh, how we can uh, scale, uh, and uh, how we can create more integration that, because it's expensive. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the other question that comes up. So why is it free, and how 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 risky is this business model, right? As far as like, there's no money coming in, um, which isn't true. I mean, there is money coming in. It's just not coming in from the end user, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I start to search, and uh, I face the some uh, interesting products like G2 Crowd and Captera. Uh, mm -hmm. It is software review websites where you can find, for example, best uh, CRM system, best email marketing software, and other things. Right. And they charge money uh, on from vendors uh, for ads. For example, when you uh, pay money, uh, you will, will be on the top uh, of this list. Yeah, yeah, we've been approached from um, from our software platform uh, quite a few times as well. So yeah. Yes, and uh, we start. Well, I have some idea. Oh, it will be very cool if uh, user will use uh, free integrations, but uh, we will provide the some best software for them, and some vendors will be uh, will, uh, will 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 pay for listing on on this uh, on this area, and we we create this uh, business. No, we don't create this uh, business model, but mm -hmm. I think maybe we, we first company who will uh, use uh, this business model in SaaS, B2B SaaS industry, because I, I really don't know any product uh, that uh, absolutely free and monetized from the ads in a B2B, in a B2B industry. Uh, all products uh, with um, advertising model, it is... Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's Facebook, it's Google, it's LinkedIn, it, it's about B2C. And uh, we think that it, 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 it can be cool. And uh, with this business model, we launch on Product Hunt now. Uh, yeah. And, and you, you, you guys, if you want to, to help us, uh, you can go to the Product Hunt uh, and find the API, API way product and make some efforts, make a feedback, and it is very important for us. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, if uh, you like the product, if you like what you've seen, if you'd like to support this project, if you like free integrations for your software, for all the softwares that you guys are buying, that you're using, uh, make sure, you know, go check out, um, go to Product Hunt and, you know, help them out. Just get in there, leave an upvote at least, but, you know, it takes like just a couple seconds, guys leave a comment if you can, really helps them out. But every bit of support that these guys get on that project is only going to benefit us in the long run. So if you like free stuff, if you want to see a free, you know, I keep, I, I really hate to say Zapier like, but it's true. I mean, it's, that's the concept is as far as, and that's the word people know. That's the software most people know. It's a Zapier like pro, uh, product. I mean, realistically, but guys, they want to make their own, uh, you know, they, their own way in this, in the marketplace. So help them out. Uh, give them some love here. I'll drop the link. I'll go ahead and drop the link down in the comments. Um, just go to product hunt. You can't miss it. Uh, it's going to say, Appyway.ai and check it out. Oh, maybe I tell you a story about why we have a dot uh, AI. Uh, you know, it's an it means artificial intelligence. And mm -hmm. for my uh, for my perfect view, uh, for example, the our our product uh, 
it's not about integrations and it, it's about this but the main idea to explain to people what software they really need because uh, today there are a lot of different softwares in uh, different industries and mm -hmm. when you want to when you want to uh, find a CRM you just mm -hmm. type a CRM and you have uh, 300 of CRMs mm -hmm. and it, 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 it's, it's really hard to, to make a choice and for our ideal world for example people uh, go to our platform make some integrations and maybe take some survey and tell um, about um, about them mm -hmm. um, and we will post uh, a perfect technical stack to this business for example if uh, people make a run as some e-commerce and they have uh, five employees and they have a uh, 1000 people per day in uh, traffic we understand oh it's uh, it's some kind of business and mm -hmm. you need you, you, you need to use many charts shopify mailchimp and the couple of the uh, stack and uh, people will sign up to this uh, to these platforms and um, use it and that is why we we want to create artificial intelligence of course it will be in the future because uh, today all people say about artificial intelligence and doesn't doesn't not have this artificial intelligence no no that's that's a whole different conversation there as far as for ai for sure so here's uh so here's a couple things um that's come up so one is uh passwords coming out in the in the uh emails so um i know that that's come up a couple times so um people ask me to bring that up so um anton can you can you uh give us your, your yeah, thought yeah, on it, that it, it, and it is interesting questions because uh, it's, it's great because we have a feedback about uh, from mm -hmm. users. Uh, uh, honestly, I don't care about this uh, when uh, uh, someone sent me my password on email. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like this because when I, I, I don't either. I actually just I just just telling you earlier. I actually just yes. used it the other day. Uh, I was actually glad it was in my email. But, um, but it, is it that important for people? And right. uh, maybe maybe in future, not now. Uh, but in future, uh, we will uh, check it, and uh, maybe people will uh, will can uh, um, change the password uh, on the interface, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we we will not send the password on the email. I understand this question, and uh, I understand this issue uh, because well, I can understand it. I mean, what if they accidentally feel like they're wrong email or something like that and went somewhere else and they're using a password that they normally use or something i mean there there's different reasons why um but so i, I mean i can understand it there's no question there uh people want to do this and uh, uh when i have some um thoughts about this uh, mm -hmm. and it's hard to make some decision i, I try to see how this problem uh, was used by very famous big companies because people uh, uh, trust to these companies and if mm. I will do the similar things, uh, we can do it. Okay, I will see how Facebook works with, with passwords, how Google works with passwords, and we will uh, do the similar th things. And when people uh, will ask these questions to us, we can say, okay, guys, you see that Google and Facebook do the similar things. Uh, and uh, it's okay. It's it's a standard of in industry industry standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and it's good, and it's good they brought it up, obviously, because it's without. I always look at it like this when it comes to software. I mean, feedback is like gold. I mean, love it, hate it. It is what it is. It's your users. It's our users. Um, it, you know, we need to know what our thought process in building the software was. If this is truly what the user, what the end user wants or not. If it's not, all right, fine, let's switch it up. I mean, how many times have we done that, right? Switch it up and now all of a sudden they absolutely love it uh, versus our thought process on it. So yes, and feedback's and great. Th th that, is, uh, that is why uh, I think the company have to make a very great offer uh, and people can cannot uh, reje re reject this offer. We say, okay, we create a free solution and you can use it uh because we get money from other ways and people can say okay you have a problem with the security or, or you you have a problem with password and other things 
Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but uh, but uh, you have uh, you haven't uh, to pay for, for for this. And Facebook also have a problem with security, and Google have a problem. Oh, no, no, every no. every software does. I mean, realistically, every, every software. Does. Every software has a problem with security, and uh, I saw a lot of SaaS companies, and I have a lot a lot of friends who work in in SaaS com company. And it's difficult, it's difficult to manage a permission to users' data uh, with your own employees. And mm. your own employee, uh, for example, uh, if you have a 100, to, uh, 100, 200 employees in your SaaS company, I think all your employees can find an access uh, to users' data. And mm. if your employees can be crazy, they can grab your data and uh, do a uh, bad thing. That's true. That's true. It's, yeah. It's, it's, real, it's, it's, it's real, true. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's an always it's not it's always an ongoing thing. I mean, okay. even as there's new technology that comes along, I mean, you still got to build you know better security in there. So, but the but the bottom line is, guys, give them the feedback. Give these guys the feedback so that they know you know these things right so if that's something as far as like passwords let them know you know so they can take care of that for you guys i i, I saw the another feedback about uh, the gmail uh, connection for example people oh yeah that's a that's after, a good one after after our webinar yesterday uh we have a lot of signups and people uh start to 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 use our uh, solution mm -hmm. and uh ask uh, questions about gmail con uh, connection and we, now we have a, uh, only one problem with connection, it is Gmail. And I will tell you uh, why we have this problem. Because uh, in May, uh, Google uh, launched a new rules of API management. And uh, we have to verify all our integrations uh, with uh, Google team. And now we successfully verified uh, Google spreadsheets and uh, people can use this uh, uh, spreadsheets uh, without any problems but with gmail uh, we have some problems with verification and it, it is not that uh, it did not mean that our software is bad because google is a very huge uh, machine and they have a lot of bureaucratic processes to verify this uh, and it, it, it's a very it, it's a very big deal and uh, i really don't know uh, how the industry will uh, will scale uh because now google make uh, made a very bad uh changes in api way uh, in, in api management and if you want mm. i can talk, talk to people about this yeah that's a that's a whole topic by itself as well and they, they did that what was it like a year ago or almost two years a year and a half ago something like that um with the, especially with the gmail now they're making everybody go through a security thing and pay what is it, like seventy five thousand or something there, there's a whole whole thing around it um and there's and, and just like you said i mean there's entire processes uh red tape here go through a security person here so it does take time for that um facebook's yeah. kind of turning into that now as well a lot of people don't realize that um, but there's a lot of security changes with that. So, I mean, it's it's always an ongoing fun process for sure, for sure. So quick quick question, um, as far as, um, I know a lot of people are excited, but a lot of people, um, they wanna see, they have not even really logged into um, AppyWay. Is there any way you can show us like inside the dashboard for the people that actually yeah, did yeah. not join us yesterday? Uh, you, you want to um, to see the interface, yes? Yeah, just like a quick, okay. uh, quick demo. Maybe show me even the new interface that's coming as well, the uh, the sexy one. Well, I can now. I will show the our interface that uh, works work now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, after that, I will show the new interface uh, that we uh, designed, and it will be uh, maybe in the next uh, two or three months. Mm -hmm. uh, now I will share my screen. Yeah. We, uh... Can you guys see the screen? Uh, everybody that's on there. Yeah, I've got some people saying yeah. Yeah, yeah. People see the screen. Uh, okay. When you sign up on API Way, uh, you you can uh, you can choose the some apps uh, that you want to connect. Now we have mm -hmm. Facebook leads and spreadsheets. It is the most popular integration now in our platform where uh, you launch uh, traffic and use Facebook leads. Uh, 
Facebook form, lead form, uh, you can automatically push leads in a Google spreadsheets and update this information. Also, uh, people use a webhook. For example, we can catch webhook and edit this information in a spreadsheet, in the MailChimp, in the active campaign, um, and in Google Analytics. Uh, with, with Google Analytics, you can, uh, you, you can use interesting integration, um, uh, connect your website with uh, Google Analytics and uh, understand all, um, all sales and how, uh, how, many, uh, how much money you earn uh, for the specific UTM term. Um, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain. Uh, when you go on your website, the Google Analytics make the Google ID. And with this ID, you can manage uh, all sales and you can identify in your CRM uh, the, um, this, the, 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 this user. And you can understand how much money you spend uh, on ads to get this user. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it, it's com it's complicated, but if if people want to manage uh, sales and marketing budget uh, deeply or in an advanced mode, uh, you they can use it. But the but the most popular integration it is the Facebook leads, Google speeches, Facebook leads, and active campaign, and it's pretty easy. You go on uh, tap my ways. Oh, it's, now I have admin mode. One moment, I will switch to another mode like a user um, now, now um, when I uh, open this uh, you can go to a product hunt and uh, make some uploads uh, about our software and you can find API way on product hunt and help us and yeah uh, for sure guys if you're just joining us right now uh, help show some love if you guys like the project if you like the free project that they're doing which is I'm pretty impressed with. I know people that I've talked about, all the you know responses I've seen have been just amazing, blowing people away. Go over to producthunt.com and find Appy Way. They're right there on the on the homepage. And you know, upvote them, leave a comment, let them know what you think. Yes, make comments. Uh, here the here is a simple template where where uh, where we can catch the web hooks from Teachable. Teachable, it is uh, uh, some software for manage your online schools. And uh, the Teachable sent a web hook to us. We catch these web hooks with uh, the same data mm -hmm. and uh, place these data into an active campaign and uh, edit or update content. It's, it is a very simple uh, integration. It is our uh, work uh, interface, but now I will show you uh, how we will change the interface. It uh, it will be much uh, beautiful, and maybe you will get. Uh, it's like will... eye candy. <laughs> yeah. uh, beautiful eye candy. Eye candy, yes. And uh, maybe you will give me a, another feedback about new interface. Oh, it's. Now I've tried to find it. Guys, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments. We'll make sure we'll get to them as soon as we can. And let us know what you think. You know, like it, love it. Uh, you know, do you have any requests? Do you have any feedback? You know, let us know. Yes. Uh, now you see there are a new interface. And uh, here you can, uh, you can understand how we will uh, earn money. Um, this is a, a f integration flow where you can uh, customize the integration. And in the right corner, you will see the software recommendation. And uh, we want to create this recommendation very smart. Uh, it will not something like a simple as banners. Uh, we want to, to make a suggestion of software. For example, mm -hmm. you, you use Facebook leads and Google spreadsheets. And this is a, very simple automation. And the next logical step, it will be a, uh, managed leads in a, some CRM software. And when, we, when the user make this integration, we uh, will show the, some offer to, the, to him. Oh, look, uh, you can use a CRM, AMO CRM, Pipedrive or HubSpot or other, uh, other solution to uh, improve your sales process. And it will be very good for user because uh, 
I want that uh, to create some platform that will educate people how to use software. Because nowadays, uh, people, uh, another marketers educate people what software do you need to use. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's true. Yeah, in, my, in my mind, uh, the user have to go on this platform and the platform analyze the techn te technological stack of this user and will show the interesting ads. And uh, well, it, it is uh, uh, our um, design. Uh, here you customize some uh, data. Well, it's simple. It's something like in Zapier. Uh, but uh, I think the, the, our, you know, it's innovation maybe, or maybe uh, interesting things. It, it will be a software suggestion in the steps. Uh, now I will show you this. Looks really good. I think it looks really good. Guys, what do you think? Uh, let us know down in the comment. Let them know your feedback, what you guys think of the new uh, the new visual uh, I, eye here, candy coming up. Here uh, you see, look, it, it, it's an example. Uh, people uh, customize the intercom trigger when so someone uh, start a conversation and after that add this lead in the pipe drive. And uh, after that, our system will uh, show the next step of uh, next logical step. Uh, it will be uh, some suggestions, recommendations. And here, the user will see the another software uh, that he don't to use. Uh, and it will be very cool um, for user and, uh, and, and for vendor because all vendors want to pay uh, for real customers. And nowadays they have a, they face a real big problem with uh, uh, with Google Ads and Facebook Ads. They launch it and people people not sign up. And nowadays the ads is very expensive, in my opinion. All right. Well, I like the visual aspect because you can actually like visually see what's going on. You can also take a look. For me, I'm a very visual person, so if I can look at a process, I can see. Oh, you know what might actually work good with this as well or maybe this would work better. So I really love that part of it. Oh, uh, I have another uh, questions and maybe you, Iron, and other our attendees will help me. With our, uh, with, with my co-founder, we always have uh, some uh, conversation, what, uh, uh, what workload we have to have. Uh, it will be uh, uh, from the top to bottom or from the left to right. So for example, now we see the uh, interface, um, I don't know how we explain on English, uh, not horizontal, vertical or vertical interface. Hor and, horizontal uh, and, and uh, yeah. And for example, uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we can use uh, some uh, horizontal interface, something, something like this. And maybe, right. oh, Aaron, uh, can you make a, some quick, so, maybe survey or, or, or maybe uh, people make some uh, votes uh, if they if they uh, press uh, one it will be a, a vertical uh, interface and if they type uh, two it will be a horizontal uh, interface uh, it, 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 it will be very cool okay yeah absolutely you want to do that now what do you guys think like everybody that's watching this uh, video right now what do you guys think of that would you rather see it go uh, horizontal or you know, across one. or down? So uh, yes. one, one is, okay, so one is up and down. Yeah, yeah, up and down. And then two, two is going to be uh, horizontal. So what do you guys, what would you guys like to see on there? What's your vote? Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting because uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I would actually like, you know, it, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing, but um, I actually kind of like horizontal myself, but you know, you know what, if I was to do this, um, just because how long the process could go, I think, uh, going down would make more sense for me, uh, when I think about uh, it. We, we, we think, uh, we, uh, we thought about this a lot, but, mm -hmm. um, I have some, uh, uh, some conclusion, for example, um, mm -hmm. I have my first uh, experience with some, uh, with this kind of interface, no, it's called automation workflow, not, not interface. Uh, when I start to use active campaign. And in active campaign, this interface from up to down. But a lot of users uh, has a 
first experience with this kind of automation flow mm -hmm. uh, in, an, in other software uh, and uh, see, for example, from the left to right interface. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it's, uh, it's uh, all about uh, habits. Uh, it's yeah. all about habits. Uh, but uh, we think that we will give, uh, we will give um, some permission to, to, for user to, uh, to make a change. It will be like a table. It, it, it's something like a table. And on the table, you can uh, customize these apps, uh, something like a caps. Do, 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 you, do you get my point? Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. That would be pretty cool. So you can actually just change the view for the actual user then so they could actually have their own user experience. Yes, yes. Uh, I will jump to um, to this uh, story, maybe vertical. Can you just demo? Guys, if you're just joining us right now, uh, we're with Anton from uh, AppyWay. And they're actually, they just launched on producthunt.com today. Uh, if you guys, if, if you know, for one, let us know what you think of the project inside the comments. For number two, go over to producthunt.com right now and show your love over there. If you guys like the, you know, like what you see and you want to support it, just head over there, go to producthunt.com and you'll find an way right there. Click on there, uh, you know, show some love, click the upvote, uh, leave a comment, uh, recommend it, uh, you know, share the page with some friends, let them oh, know that's going on. I will check the product. Oh man. Oh wow, that's good uh, job guys, that's awesome. Uh, but, but, uh, it's, it's something wrong, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's... I, I think it was a hundred something last I looked. Man, I will check this like... because it's. Oh, that's great. Oh my that. God, we are in the first place, man. <laughs> You're on top, yeah. I don't know who this mine is down there. They got, Look how many votes they got. It's crazy. What's going on? I, don't, I, I cannot understand this. <laughs> That's great, guys. Yeah, keep it going. Show your love. I mean, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing product. It's an amazing uh, project. So again, I think the biggest thing like that's really come up is, oh my gosh, it's all free. How can they do that? Um, it's not free, guys. It's free for us, the end users, but it's not, technically it's not free. There's still money coming in to support it. They're just doing it backwards, basically. Um, you know, as far as like, it's they're charging the actual softwares. I mean, think about, um, you know, you're paying $50 for this product here. You got another $39 for this software. Well, you got $25 because you need this over here. Then there's another, you know, $50 for this over here. That stuff all adds up, you know, it easily adds up by the time that you're, you know, adding software. Here, you're able to connect all that for free. I, I think this product will be expensive for vendors. And uh, now I will tell you the prices for what vendors buy leads and mm -hmm. I, I make uh, some competitive uh, intelligence and uh, I have a conversation with G2 Crowd, Captera and other guys uh -huh. and, and the very interesting things that uh, on the best marketing automation uh, software category in Captera people pay 35 bucks per click. 35? It, no, it, it, it's it's uh, I, I don't I don't I, I don't know it's an, it's an expensive for U.S. people, but uh, as for me, for one click, uh, it's a uh, it's a very big price, for example, and it, it's a one click. It's not a lead. It's not lead. And uh, imagine that um, the conversion rate of the page will be a uh, ten percent, ten percent, and mm -hmm. one lead can cost. Three hundred, five hundred dollars. Uh, it's only one cent. It's not a customer. It's it's a lead. Right. And it's a quick. It's not even fully. I mean, it's not even fully a lead. It's a quick. Yes. And um, uh, for and another software reviews platform uh, charge money from not for clicks for uh, for leads, and mm -hmm. the, the lead can cost one hundred, twenty hundred dollars and, and other things. And uh, why I tell this story? Uh, a lot of people think that its platform uh, will be free. Uh, for end user, yes, it will be free, but for vendors, it's not be free. <laughs> no, but it's well worth it. I mean, it's well worth it. If you're if you're a software vendor, I mean, I, I mean, if you're just getting into like the SaaS world, um, you don't realize how much money is actually being spent on acquiring users. You know, for that monthly, for that yearly subscription. Um, when you're involving sales teams, um, not to mention your server cost, ads, and everything else. It can it can get up there. 
uh, really, really fast. So when you're when you're dealing with SaaS, it's not we're not talking a small amount of money for acquiring users. So even if you're looking at like thirty five uh bucks per click i mean that's not that's not outrageous by any sort of means especially when you're talking about someone you know you're not talking about going out and outreaching to hopefully they might have some interest we're talking about people that are obviously interested they're looking for that type of software they have you know they're looking for that type of solution uh sending them to you know that page i uh i i won't tell you another my idea uh, that we have um it will be an exclusive iron <laughs> for you. Uh, we have some idea to create the very smart retargeting campaign. Imagine that, um, for example, you are um, you are Con convert kit. It's an email marketing provider, mm -hmm. and uh, you want your main competitor. It is a Mailchimp, and you want to target for Mailchimp users. And you go to our platform and customize the launch campaign in LinkedIn, in Facebook, and other software, and say, and, and, and say I want to show my ads for Pipedrive and MailChimp users. And uh, we, we understand uh, what integration this user makes. We understand this. And we can upload the database and uh, uh import this data to our ads account facebook linkedin and google will uh will find these leads and after that we can share this audience to our uh, to to another vendor you, no, you, 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 you get my point mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh people uh can uh launch very very smart ads to people who use uh specific software and I, I really don't know uh any I, I cannot find any other solution who uh who who provide this uh, information because in facebook and google you, you can use uh, you can uh, launch uh, campaigns only for digital marketers or uh, crm lovers and other things but you can launch campaign for hubspot users and I think it will be really cool. Uh, what do what you think about this, guys? Can you provide your comments? Uh, because it is very important uh, to me how this idea looks like. Yeah, guys. I mean, as far as if anybody has any uh, feedback, suggestions, I mean, that's obviously why we're, you know, early adopters, right, um, is to help provide that to the to the founders so obviously again they're always looking for feedback so you know let let appy way know what you guys think uh what your feedback is on everything on their uh on any of their plans etc um maybe you know maybe you're thinking of something that they haven't thought of for example um and that could really help them out so again really fast as far as um hey guys if you're joining us uh, just now uh, and you missed the webinar because we had a, a webinar yesterday uh, for AppyWay, uh, right now you can actually go to producthunt.com. They just did a really awesome launch over there and show some love over there. Um, so we've got some questions in here as far as can you show how to do an integration really fast, like a quick uh, connection? A quick, quick demo. Okay. Yeah, okay. like a, a live, a live real life version. Yeah, yeah, real live version. Yes, I will. I will. Uh do this right now um, I will connect Facebook leads with Google spreadsheets it, it is the most uh, easiest way to 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 to, to show this we, we go to create way and uh, find the Facebook Facebook leads Uh, we choose the action. Uh, it will be a new lead. Uh, we choose the page. I uh, I connect this page before, and we have some uh, lead form for video. It will be at our test uh, data. And now we catch this uh, with uh, th this kind of data. And after that, we have to go in a Google Sheets, uh, create a spreadsheet road. Test this. 
uh, choose the spreadsheet. Uh, I will find uh, ammo leads. That's oh, no, ammo leads. No, no. I have a lot of spreadsheets now, and I will. You do have a try. lot of spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, <laughs> you, look, you look like me, man. Uh, it, uh, let, uh, let it be Mark Weiss. And list one. And we have this. Uh, maybe I will jump to my spreadsheets and try to check it. All times when I uh, when I show uh, when I show the demo, uh, I start to scare about because uh, maybe it will be some fail and other things. But uh, another good I, uh, things uh, for about live demo, uh, I I heard uh, this about uh, a very good founder of uh, Amo CRM. It's mm -hmm. uh, something like a Salesforce uh, in Russian, and uh, he said that um, the real demo on the conference really improve the quality of coding uh, because the uh, engineers understand that their work uh, will be shown on the big conference and they had i think the conference where they can have a 20,000 attendees no it's a stadium it's wow. a stadium and they have a very big tv and uh, they show how the this CRM works. Uh, they show these new test features for, for, for this whole audience. And engineers start to understand that if they make the shit, uh, it will be a show <laughs> to all people, to 20,000 people. And the quality of code uh, become really cool. Uh, I find this, uh, these spreadsheets, oh yeah. We see this, and uh, if we add the e uh, email, and um, to the phone number, and the name. Sorry uh, that it is in Russian, but we will make the changes. <laughs> da. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my three or four words I know of Russian. Yes. Uh, Will be its integration. We uh, will have a name lifetime deal, and uh, we have to test this and make an active. And after that, we have to test this uh, and make a test sample of data. We go to developers platform Facebook, and we have the. Uh, the solution that can help you to test Facebook forms. Um, I choose this. Uh, I think I use this video. Delete lead and create lead. Actually, it's better that you go all the way through this anyways, I think. And uh, now if we do correct, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, it's work, man. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yes, and we see this the Facebook send the taste data to us, and, uh, and that is how it works. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's, it's correct. Maybe right. we, we will see the sum and other questions. Uh, let's see here. Daniel asked if he was a little late for the Gmail account. Yes, that's already been covered. Bottom line for the Gmail accounts. If you don't like it or anything else in there, just let them know, guys. Just let them know what your thoughts are. I mean, that's that's the whole reason. Yeah, it's nothing different than any other software that we've brought into the community uh, when it comes to, you know, feedback. You know, if there's something on there that you'd like to see different. Hey, look, I don't think that's a good idea for security reasons. Let them know so that they can, you know, take care of that. Yes, yes. Um, I sold that it's not a big deal, guys. I mean, it's like everybody's like I, I've seen a lot of people like kind of like trying to make it out to like some big deal, and it's it's really not a big deal. Just let them know so they can take care of it. You know, um, yeah. anything in there, guys, and, and it's like any software. I mean, 
I was just talking to uh, Treff from Sin Villa uh, yesterday, and he's like, "Man, I can't post." And I went, and we got on his, uh, we we got on a, a call, and it's because of the new the new Facebook setup, the way the new Facebook setup was, uh, he's on the new platform, the new version, and uh, for whatever reason, he couldn't post. So I was like, "Man, you got to get off and get onto the the old Facebook version." So you know, I mean, it's it's software, guys. It's just absolutely software. You know, if there's something in there, let the team know so that they have a chance to you know, because they they might not be using it, they might not even know about it. Uh, you, you know, if you're dependent on someone else to let them know that something's happening, well, it it that might not come come to them fast, right? If you see something, if you see a bug, if you see anything, just let them know so they can fix it. So yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's not a big deal. It's very important to send the feedback because yeah. uh, now I tell them interesting uh, thoughts about this. Um, uh, every year, um, it's 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 more harder to launch the very good product, and I will tell you why. Because ten years ago, fifteen years ago, uh, people don't have any experience with a great product. For example, something like a Slack. Google, Facebook, and other. Mm, yeah, that makes and sense. When, yeah. you, when when you launch the some product, uh, they, uh, they they have they, a higher they, expectation. They they they're so yeah. used to these products that have been around for years and years. And I mean, look at this. Like we're comparing this to Zapier, but the reality is Zapier has been around for how many years? You know, they have how many integrations? Uh, you know, they've had how much funding since then? I mean, that's why I said in the beginning, it's really not a fair comparison. You really can't compare it, you know. About technical support, uh, some some people sent me an email and said, okay, I don't, I don't uh, get any response for 20 minutes and uh, <laughs> you have a very, very bad uh, support. And I understand, but uh, uh, we have uh, six people in our team, and uh, the four team of uh, the four people of team is, is engineers. And I, uh, I, and uh, I have a problem with English speaking, and it's hard to to write a, a lot of emails. <laughs> I, I, I something like uh, Sprout. <laughs> right, right, yeah. No, I, I've ran into that where people think, oh, there must be nobody there. They're not doing any support whatsoever. You know, I've seen I've seen comments like that before, but, yes, but I think but, the majority of people understand realistic. But people have some experience when they, for example, can have a very quick response from mm. MailChimp and from Active Campaign. Uh, this this software have a whole team, 100 of people uh, on the support. Of course, they can yeah. make a very quick response, and uh, that's why I talking because um, people have experience with um, other uh, vendors, with other softwares, mm -hmm. uh, and and they produce this experience to other startups and they want to get the similar quality of product and the similar quality of support uh, of this startup but the startup cannot give this quality it's, it's, it's impossible it's yeah a lot of people don't the end users i mean it's it's a uh, it, sometimes it's hard finding that fine line between the user experience and the reality of the software development i'll give you an example like we for our software we hadn't won an, we had won an award from winning tree uh, a couple of years ago um if you went in that software, we're actually revamping everything right now if you went in there right now you, you you would think oh my gosh what is wrong with the software company right um it's not because the software is bad it's just because we're redoing a bunch of things in there right so it's you know it's there again it's reality versus you know um you know the user experience and it's not a bad thing there's nothing wrong with it. Um, yes, yes. you know it's, it's real life it's real life and it, we, and it pushes we, us right it pushes software developers and founders to give a better quality you know product to users so that part's good there's nothing wrong with that um but yeah from the user standpoint there definitely is um that expectation that higher expectation nowadays than let's say two years even two years ago three years, even a year ago, let's say. Um, no question about it. I've seen that trend, that that uh, that evolution, if you will, happen over the last, you know, how many uh, years? About design. For example, uh, 10 years ago, people can sign up on the simple uh, landing page. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, 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 this landing page can can be uh, really have a shit design. But mm -hmm. people, okay, it's over and people sign up. Today, <laughs> today, you will you have to have a very good offer and really normal design mm -hmm. uh, because 
you, you, you can have a great product uh, on the backstage, but if your face stage will be very bad, people will not sign up on your, on your landing page. And uh, f uh, when we launch it, we have a very, very bad shitty design and uh, people not sign up to our product and we start to improve this. Uh, and three, three days ago, we launched a new design and we, we will check it. But uh, mm -hmm. to improve design, it, it's, it's, it's another hard work. You have to find a very good design because uh, design, it is a very important things. And th there are a lot of designers, uh, web designers today, but uh, when they can create the logo, it's one, it's one uh, conversation. But uh, uh, another deal when you, uh, when designer can create the web interface. Right. I mean, it takes time. No question about it. It, it definitely takes time to do that. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's what's really good. I think probably from the user standpoint is they, it's not that they don't understand that. I think a lot of times it's just a matter of, you know, updating, like keeping them updated. I know for like our community, um, big time, that's probably one of the biggest things I ever hear from uh, users, you know, um, in here is, you know, hey, I haven't heard any updates, right? So that's one thing I always try to, you know, explain to the founders, you know, hey, look, just just update the users, you know, let them know what's going on. Um, even if it's, hey, guys, we're doing this, right? Hey, we're looking at this. It goes a long ways uh, to, you know, building that confidence for, you know, from the buyer standpoint, from the user standpoint. So, uh, what can you say about um, that? Uh, all people say that uh, listen your users, listen your users, they mm -hmm. will tell you the some story. Absolutely. absolutely. Yes, it's absolutely. Yes, it's very important. But uh, I think that uh, uh, the founders have to ab observe what people are doing and uh, make their offers. Because uh, if uh, m maybe, maybe you know uh, um, this trend, it was 10 years ago. Uh, there are a lot of softwares like uh, big machines. Um, it's a CRM, email marketing, uh, SMS in a one in a one software. Mm -hmm. uh, some something like Infusionsoft, maybe HubSpot, uh, another. But nowadays, nowadays we can see that uh, we we have a uh, niche players. This software is only about CRM. This software only about chatbot. This software only about right. email. yeah. What, what, why? Why? It's because ten years ago, uh, people people ask questions. Of, uh, for, for for example, you uh, you uh, launch a CRM, it's okay, and users say, okay, can you? We want uh, email, and vendors say, okay, you want email, just <laughs> voila, email, and right. the users say, we want to SMS, voila, and after that, you see the some big 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 big. Uh, machine and you can improve that. It's, it's something like uh, architecture. Uh, in uh, yesterday, I told to people that I have an architectural background. Mm -hmm. I was an architect and uh, I building the cities uh, and I build uh, some uh, buildings. And um, uh, it, the IT, it's uh, it, it's another things and you can change. Uh, you can change the product, but in architecture, you cannot do this because you plan the building and you you cannot uh, build the hotel and after that say okay the hotel is bad and uh, let's do the shopping mall you cannot do this because the infrastructure of houses right. is, is and uh, when you uh, you i think the very great founders have to have the some vision and the some end point of the of this yeah. building for example and you you create this little step, but you understand how this step will be in the future. Because if you will uh, learn your users, of course it's very important. But if you will learn it, all users want to have a, a Swiss knife. All a, a lot of uh, tools. Well, in yeah, because you can save money. It's just one tool. I don't have to pay money somewhere else. But no, it's you're absolutely right. I mean, as far as you'd need to, I mean, having a niche software is really good. I mean, and there are good programs that, like Active Campaign, like they have multiple uh, functions, right? Yes, but they, I, as a reseller, I always fight with the product manager in an uh, Active Campaign, and mm -hmm. I think I think they 
they um, they go on, on the wrong way. It's for my opinion because mm -hmm. uh, I tell you, and you will understand why. They have an amazing marketing automation builder. Uh, they start from an email campaign, and after that, they create a CRM. They have a normal CRM on a, on a design, but they they have a very big big problem. And this problem in all old uh, in old old uh, mm -hmm. software like Infusionsoft. Mm -hmm. uh, get response you can't create a contact without email because the email it is id of the contact makes sense yeah yeah how, how it can be in a, today when we have a messenger sms and yeah SMS, everything else exactly and uh, you cannot manage the customers for example on the, when they call to you right. and and they create this and to change this, they need to change all infrastructure of this big, big, big machine. It's impossible. No, vision is super important for sure. Um, and yeah, so it, it is that, it, again, it's kind of finding that, that common, common ground between the two. So I absolutely agree. So as far as, uh, so let's see, let me look at the questions here. Yeah. Um, oh, here's a good question. One that's come up quite a bit. So let's go ahead and uh, answer this. As far as like on the requests for new software, new integrations, okay. um, this this is obviously a really big quest. Like if somebody requests, you know, they upvote it. Um, how long does it take for that to get integrated? Yes, it is a great question because it is a, one of the main part of our strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, but 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 this strategy have an integromat in Zapier. Uh, now we want to build a uh, 30, 40 core integration by ourselves. It will be like a Salesforce, MailChimp, big, big, big players. Mm -hmm. And after that, we will create a, some developer platform where the engineers can create the integrations and launch their products on our marketplace. And it, uh, of course, it will be for free uh, to uh, get an access uh, on, our, uh, on our integration ecosystem. We, we will uh, get money when we will promote you on our platform, but get the access, it will be for free. Uh, and uh, when I think we will create this platform in next year and all vendors can connect to this, uh, uh, in, in a Zapier and in Integromat, this process takes uh, one, two weeks uh, of, um, to make integration. I think it will be uh, pretty easy and all uh, vendors can connect to us and, uh, work together got it so let me ask as far as like um what integrations are you currently working on like what's coming next as far as uh on the what's on the roadmap for integrations uh in our roadmap it is a trello uh it is a slack uh, calendar uh google calendar mm. uh salesforce convert kit many chat uh and uh it will be a next uh um, the most popular integration in Zapier mm -hmm. we, 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 we saw on this uh, table and saw this book. But we all, all times we, uh, we change our plans. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the, the, the next integration, I think it will be with the Slack and Trail. And after that, we will see, uh, we, will okay. see we, we want to have some uh, very good integration that can drive uh, us uh, a lot of traffic. For example, Facebook leads and Google spreadsheets, it's integrations, it's a very popular integrations uh, and it solve a real bi a, a real problem. Right. Uh, you, I mean, yeah, if you have those core integrations, you can do a lot just with those, period, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it's, it will be easy to promote this platform because when we promote Facebook leads and Google speeches, okay, some people really like this, but in other people, I don't use Facebook leads and Google speeches. But when we have a 30, 40 integrations, uh, it will be easy to promote this. And after mm -hmm. that, we will can uh, have uh, some collaboration with the uh, vendors. Uh, when we will, if, if, if our software good, uh, and if we have a, uh, I think 10,000 users, we can go to Slack, to Active Campaign, uh, to ConvertKit and, and, uh, and, and say, okay, let's make uh, some uh, collaboration that we, it will be cool. Uh, let's make uh, some live webinars. Let's make uh, some uh, uh, co-marketing and it will be very good. Awesome. 
All right. So guys, again, if you're just joining us or just watching the replay on this, make sure you go over to producthunt.com, guys. I'll go ahead and put the uh, link in one more time. So it comes up on the feed if you're getting to this point. And go support Appyway if you like what you've seen, if you like what you've heard, and show them some love. Do you know again? It takes just a quick couple seconds to hit the upvote button over there at Product Hunt. Uh, it doesn't take much longer to leave a comment, and it doesn't take very long to share it. And what it does do is actually helps support these guys in a long ways, um, as far as you know, getting their name out there and getting the project out there in front of other eyes to help us, right? Because the more people that you know, the more users they get, the more signups they're getting, the more. Uh, feedback they get i mean everything right it's it's only going to better the product and it's only going to better the service for us to use as long term so definitely something that i know a lot of people are super happy to get behind and it's super exciting to see uh your guys's journey here yeah yeah it's uh can we end our webinar because so a lot of questions on the product hunt and i have yeah to yeah go because <laughs> I I I manage uh, this launch by my uh, by myself. <laughs> I'm a one person <laughs> on on this launch. <laughs> oh, it's there's definitely love coming in. I just went to the uh, let's show the product hunt page real fast. Do you want it to, or I can do it for myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, show show you. All right, so it's looking good, guys. There's a lot of love coming. So much thanks on that. Let me uh, share my screen here. So hopefully everyone can see my screen. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and refresh the page. But wow, you're up here at the top. So guys, yeah. if you just go to producthunt.com, um, wow, this is this is amazing. But just go here and boom, upvote that fast. Leave a quick comment. Would you recommend this? Absolutely. And that's it. So uh, also a quick question was for, um, I saw someone ask as far as uh, where do they put the, you know, if they have recommendations as far as uh, for integrations, uh, what I'll do is I'll also drop the group link down there as well, but just go to their group. Also in our group, uh, if you're in our Facebook group, uh, you'll, if you scroll down, you'll actually find a poll in there uh, asking for, you know, what integrations you'd like to see in Appy way. And yeah, guys, let's, let's help these guys out. Let's help support them. Um, again, there's no cost. There, there's no cost for you. Um, is it free N for us? Yes. For the software companies? No. So is there money coming in? That's the number one thing. Is there money coming in to support this? Is this just a completely open source free product? There's no money coming in. No, that's not, that's not the business model. Uh I, I don't know. All times what, 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 when I say about uh, who, who pays for this uh, dinner, mm. I, I always said that uh, Google and Facebook pays, uh, will pay for this. And I will, uh, now I will try to explain uh, why. Uh, now, um, for, uh, if we have a free integration platform, vendors will pay to us, to us money. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now vendors uh, have a choice, pay money to Google, pay money to Facebook, to other places, or pay money to, to us to get new customers. Because vendors don't want to pay, uh, to pay money for integration. They won't pay uh, money to, uh, to, uh, for, for new customers. And um, if our marketplace will provide uh, them new customers, it will be okay. And we compete uh, with Google for a wallet of customers. All times when we compete with someone, uh, we have a direct competitors and uh, not direct competitors. And of course, our direct competitors, it is a Zapier and other integration plan. Mm -hmm. But the, our main competitors, it is a Google, because the most money of ads uh, that SaaS vendors pay to, 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 for ads, it is a Google. And we will eat a little part of this budget from the Google, I think. And oh, Google absolutely. Google sponsor it. <laughs> this uh, you sponsor it. This integration platform. Okay, guys, I I, I want to leave because so lot of comments and uh, yes. thank you, thank you, Iron, for this opportunity. Thank you for uh, the yesterday event and uh, today. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, and um, I, I think we, we will do the uh, this kind of events maybe in future in our group, and it will be okay.
Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for doing this for uh, all the end users and everything. Great product. Guys, go to producthunt.com and go check out Appyway and support them over there.